In this video, I want to show you how to run some chi-squared tests, specifically a chi-squared goodness of fit test and an independence test. Let's start with a goodness of fit test. Here I have some information typed into StatCrunch showing some data that I got from an experiment that I ran where I took a normal six-sided die and rolled it 60 times. In the observed column, I have the number of times I received a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5, and a 6 when I rolled. So for example, I got a, ten, a 1 10 times, I got a 2 14 times, a 3 9 times, and so on. Now if I'm running a goodness of fit test, I may want to test to make sure that the die is fair. So that is that any number comes up the same chance that any other number comes up. So if that was the case, and I had rolled these die, this die 60 times, I would expect each of these 6 to come up evenly. So I would expect them each to come up 10 times. So 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 60. And if the die is fair, they should all have an equal chance of coming up. So I'll put in that those as my expected. And then to run the goodness of fit test, I'll go to stat, goodness of fit, chi-squared test. I'll select the column where my observed values are. I'll select the column where my expected values are and I'll click calculate and here I'll get my chi-squared statistic and my p-value. This p-value is 0 .7308 and it's quite high so here I would fail to reject and say that this die is fair. The numbers are evenly distributed. There's no one number that comes up more often than it should. Now we're going to run an independence test and I have again some data typed in here this data represents the um, distribution of males and females who survived or died on the Titanic. So here we have 367 males who survived, 344 females who survived, and the numbers of males and females who died on the Titanic. And we'd like to run an independence test to see if gender is independent of survival. So we'll go to STAT and we're going to go to Tables, Contingency, with Summary. We don't have the raw data listed here. This is a contingency table already summarized for us. So we'll use the with Summary. And it asks us to select the columns for the table. The columns for the table are those containing the numerics. So we'll select Survived and Died. It also asks us to tell us where the row labels are. That's the column labeled Gender. You must have the row labels typed into a column or else this test won't work. Go ahead and click Next. We can ask for specific things here, but we just want the chi-squared test, so I'm going to click Calculate. And here it gives me the contingency table again and the chi-squared test for independence. We have a very large chi-squared value here and a p-value less than 0 .0001. That's a very small p-value, so we would reject the null hypothesis and say that these are not independent. Gender has some bearing on whether or not you survived the Titanic.